Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment expose. I chose a video from Canada Copwatch, an angry Canadian who tries to change the world by yelling at cops, but he will not apologize for it. Alright, let's do this. I found this video on Lackluster, a big frauditing channel that seems to put everything with a badge in one bag. Today we follow Canada Cop Watch, another frustrated man who goes out with his buddy to hopefully find cops and steer some shit up. Let's see how it goes. While walking with Auditing Canada and True North Transparency, Turk from Canada Cop Watch noticed a Toronto police cruiser parked in the road with its emergency lights activated. The cruiser was occupied by rookie officer Kerr, who was wrapping up a traffic citation. Turk stood more than 15 feet from the cruiser for most of the traffic stop, only moving closer to take an artistic shot of the scene for B-roll. When officer Kerr returned to her vehicle, the men gave her a friendly reminder that her CAD was left open and that the information on the screen was freely visible to the public. You forgot the computer open. Unbeknownst to the men, it is at this point that Officer Kerr made a call for backup officers to assist her with the men before driving away without checking her surroundings. That already seems bad enough. However, as we find out in a moment, it's the very nature of her request that is the real problem. After leaving, the three continued walking, and almost immediately, sirens can be heard in the background. Man, talk about building a narrative, huh? Those three loud mouths are not exactly known for their subtlety or overall intelligence. Quick thought, you were not 15 feet away. You were right next to the car. Also, the computer is most likely open, but that doesn't mean private information is on it. And how would you know that she's calling backup? This is the story of three morons looking to annoy the mean, mean cop and get some views and nothing else. Turk had just recently had charges dropped after an officer lied about threats, and thus he was suspicious and assumed that the incoming presence of officers were for them. More over there. They're probably coming, they're coming to us. Yeah, no coming in hot. He was correct. Several cruisers circled the area before locating Turk and approaching him, claiming that he attempted to break into Officer Kerr's vehicle. And they are coming in hot, gentlemen. Yeah, they're coming hot, which is what you want. The frauditors are already around the cop car, ready for what's next. If you poke a bear and it wakes up and eats your face, don't pretend it's not your fault and that the bear is a tyrant. Should the cop participate to those shenanigans? No, but it's human nature to pick a side and fight for it. And the fact remains, if those three clowns are choosing to stay home, watch a movie, play a video game or work on a decent project, none of that would happen. And that's the bottom line. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Not bad, how can I help you? Good, so right now you're being investigated for obstruct? Excuse you me? tried to get into an officer's vehicle? I tried to get into uh, everything yes. on camera. I didn't ne okay. never try to get into so nobody's vehicle. That's the information I have right now. I just pulled you're up. I'm trying to say I'm trying to get into an officer's vehicle. Are you guys feeling okay? I, everything I, is on three cameras, eh? Just okay. so you guys know. Brother, you're the community officer. I'm Turk. You know me already. Yep. Yeah. So talk, talk to this guy, bro. Well, that's really it. Like I, said, it's it's I know you for many years. Yeah, that's something every prostitute and crackhead says. Well, I'm not stupid, first of all. <laughs> it's on multiple cameras, second of all. Okay. We're out here filming for transparency, third of all. I have no interest in entering your guys' vehicles. That's not going to happen. Just back up and let the yeah. officer Okay, go. guys? Okay. Right where I'm at. Oh, right. okay. Back up, no, I'm, I'm actually perfectly fine where I'm at. I'm not all right. trying to. It's all, it's all, it's it's all, all on here, guys. It seems like you're encroaching on the stage. Film, film us here, film us, right? You can videotape all you'd like. And that was, that was, was the whole thing, right? Space. Yeah, yeah space. listen, I, I'm right here, bro. You're hey, would you? No. Gonna back. Dude, give them some just space. Just back away from me. How about that? Okay. This is our investigation. Yeah, for what? Did that chick say that he tried to open a door? That, that woman, did she say he tried to open her door? Yeah. Is that what's going on? That's just whatever the officer said. Right? Yeah. Hang on. You know what? I gotta walk around you. Yeah. Just as long as you have the space, 
appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Respecting each other's personal space. Yeah, Let's piss off, up. dude. Just stop with the directives, dude. I'm not bugging anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. These are two group of people who are tired of each other BS and have no common sense to just retreat. Most cities try to control this growing phenomenon of people yelling and filming all over the place, but repression is not gonna get rid of auditors and they're not gonna shut up. So is this woman trying to say that that he tried to open her door? You're the one cursing. I'm not raising my voice. I'm just trying to explain the situation and the information that we got. I, I do so understand. So this little chicken shit woman tried to say that he opened her do car door. That's exactly what happened. Let me explain something. Yeah. You shouldn't lie, eh, lady? You all want your name and badge over you. You've got your space there. Hey, yellow shirt. I already Which, gave it to you. No, you didn't. Absolutely. You did not tell me anything. I did. What is it? Give me my name and badge. What? Indeed, he didn't. This cup is not doing a great job. But don't act surprised or frustrated. That's what you want. Fish out of the water, Graham. Leave it on the counter, that sort of stuff. We know what we're doing. <laughs> no, Ashley, you don't. We, we film you guys enough to know that you guys don't know shit about shit when it comes to what you're doing. We know that for a fact, dude. It remains interesting that a whole group of uneducated men with no knowledge of anything who can barely take care of themselves and with the IQ of a chicken with no heads and the vocabulary of a half-heat hot dog in a football stadium pretend to know and understand everything about the legal system, probably one of the most difficult domains in society. It takes years of intense formation just to start to practice. We're both men of the law, you know? We get after it, you know, we jab our jaw, we go tit for tat, we have our little differences. And this little, this little woman here, if that's what she's saying, that we're trying to get in her car, that is absolutely ridiculous, bro. What kind of, what kind of idiots do you take us for? That is ridiculous. You're more than welcome to record whatever you want, sir. You just have to do it in a safe and respectful way. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I, don't, I don't respect you guys very much when you do pull shit like this. You and your officer safety horse shit. Officer safe safety is cowardice, dude. Right. When you guys sit there, you you got what? Six of you guys with a gun and some lying bitch over there saying that he tried to open her door? Does anybody have their gun out, sir? Yeah, but you know what? You guys are chicken shit of cameras and saying what we're, unres we're disrespectful with the cameras. You see me moving away from your cameras. Sir. Yeah, no, but you're you're trying to, you got right in my face. You you stopped me from recording. What I, what I said was just move back and give space. Just, yeah, that's ridiculous, that's bro. Getting in your Yes, yeah, it is. When you, when you're, when you're, when, you're, when your gut is right on top of me, then that's that's getting in my personal space. You, you cause the unsafe distance, bro. Because you're a chicken shit of camera. You need to stay back like your friend is on that side. Yeah, I, I think you guys are ridiculous. Why are you the way that you are? I need that. I'm getting that woman officer's name. Excuse me, young lady. What is your name and badge number? Four, five, nine. Did, are you the are you the complainant on obstruct? The complainant. Yeah. One, two, four, five, nine. Yep. Yeah, that was you, right? Oh, come on. Yeah. If that's what you said. We, you're you're in a heap of shit because we got it on three different camera angles that nobody tried to get in your car. You know that? You left your computer open. Somebody saw it. I saw it. You need to be. Uh, well, you're a rookie too, eh? With the one-two number, you got to be in there for what a year, maybe two. Don't bullshit people. When you see people with cameras, just act accordingly. Don't sit there and lie and try to get us rested because you have a butt hurt. That's ridiculous. If that's what you did, that's fucking ridiculous. If that's what you did, there you go. You don't even know what happened, but you sell it like it's pure truth. With all due respect, you should turn in your badge and quit being a cop. You called on for an obstruction. We tried to get in your car. I know it was you. That's ridiculous. We filmed traffic stops, you chicken sh <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah, you're teasing me, naughty, naughty. You know what? This is a little much for a... Uh, for, some, for filming a traffic stop and then we got how many cops? Nine cops. That's crazy. This chick shouldn't be a cop, without a doubt. She got scared because she saw three camera guys 
and, and then called in a fake call that we obstructed and tried to get in her car. That's f***ing ridiculous. So you know that, then? I, I'm listening to the conversations. Yeah, it was a fake call. Because mm, so much assumption, indeed. You know the goal? I don't. I don't care what these dickheads are doing. Okay. Right, I'm telling you, look with how he's talking. Look what's going on. Are right. right, you guys? You guys can. Right, we're just. Okay. Listen, I have the same. All I'm going to tell you once. I don't care to tell you. I don't care if you believe me. I have the same goals as you. Okay. I mean, nobody, no harm. None of these people. I want to see. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to steal their shit. I make more money than that lady makes a year legally, eh? Right. <laughs> I make more than her that she makes a year, okay. and she's okay. telling me that I want to steal from okay. her. Yeah. See, you're very unprofessional, man. What's no, your name? My name's Osgood. And What's your badge you number? Eight two six seven eight. Yeah. I'm gonna go break my fast. I don't have time to entertain this. Do whatever you gotta do, bro. You guys can continue. I just want to get all yeah. your guys' names and badge numbers. Did you get this one on on camera? Yeah, eight two six seven eight. Have a good day, I sir. These two young guys right here. Name and badge number, please. Miller twelve six one three. Thank you, sir. You, with your back to me there. Name sir? and badge number, please. It's uh right here. And uh, G De Silva, thank you. Ma'am, I want to let you know you have nothing to worry about when you see me. I'm a community member that's been in this area a lot longer than you've even been working here. Yeah, again, that's something every prostitute and crackhead says. I'll let you know to your face, we're not against police. We want to see the bad policing stop. So that was a f***ing lie. Oh, BS. BS. How would you even know? You just yell at them ask for the name and badge numbers, yell again, and then make a YouTube video. I know how dirty it gets out here, you understand? Right here, yeah. So I don't want, when You're you see me, it, don't right? ever feel threatened. It sounds like something a kidnapper would say, or criminal, anyway. I respect you coming and having a conversation with me. Yes. Between me and you, I have, there's nothing wrong here, right? Boom, there you go. If you had been cool from the get-go, none of it would have happened. It's Toronto. Cops are used to being filmed. Something must have happened to create the whole thing. But that would probably defeat the whole narrative, right? Now, when you see me, Canada cop watch, you yeah. never have to be alarmed. Yeah, that's a thing with people you can trust. They keep reminding you how much you can trust them. So at that point, everybody calms down, but one cop makes the mistake of asking them to not film their computers then close it i don't want to get the camera up on, up on, the, on the computer right? I, I don't want I don't, I don't care i'm not i'm not interested in what's on your guys computers i hate so much about the things that you choose to be ma'am all gen genuinely don't ever be alarmed if you see me personally Bro, you sound like you're literally gonna kidnap her. Like, sh shut up, man. I told you they were coming for us. Yeah, I told you. That was crazy, man. It's okay, guys. The whole thing is done. We know you wanted it to happen. Probably plan it somewhat. So please stop with the, that's crazy, man. You're not fooling anyone. In the end, he blah, blah, blah. How oh, she's a criminal and she should lose her job, her life, her cat, her Instagram account. Everybody's corrupt. Even if in no way did I see any proof of your narrative. A lot of speculations, though, that I heard. And Insults and speculations. Oh. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, enough with that clown. My dear little angry moose, like they say in the Philippines, we dang in a more. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.